Welcome to luxury living in Toronto. This $8 million house is filled with all of the bells and whistles and a few more other features that you are gonna find very interesting. This magnificent property was built and is now listed and on the market for sale. It is built with love and you'll notice that throughout the whole house. As soon as you walk in through the front foyer here, you're going to notice there are so many beautiful details. Nothing is left untouched. Every detail is really paid attention to and you'll notice it throughout the whole tour. Let's talk about some of the fine details just standing in the front foyer here. You'll notice that they have done a beautiful stone in a book matching kind of position, which really amplifies the space and creates a lot of interest because when you book match your stone together, it becomes a work of art. And I love how all of the colors are kind of used throughout the whole house because you have it in your floor, you have these nice creamy goldy tones, but then you have a lot of brass details around the house as well. And this is a beautiful detail on its own because going into the living room here, you're not just looking at a plain space. You're looking at a lot of fine details, starting with this archway right here with the brass inlay. Now we do have a combined living room and a dining room on this side, and it is open concept, but something I'm gonna point out is all of the openings that allow you to go into each room and it also works almost as a partition to kind of distinguish which side is the living room and which side is the dining room. When I came into this house for a consultation, I already had envisioned what I was going to do with the furniture. And this is the perfect place for me to use my peanut here. I kept the furniture more neutral just because we have this beautiful feature wall here. And I love the stone that they used on the fireplace. Really warms up the space nicely. And again, we do have the brass details going through and they also continued it on the light fixtures, the sconces surrounding the fireplace. Now let's step inside to the dining room. And this is quite a large space we're dealing with here, guys. We have eight chairs sitting here, but you could easily fit 12 chairs in this dining space. Love the light fixture. I love the ceiling height here. We have about 11 feet of ceiling height, which really makes the space feel even more grand. And I love how Ali, the builder, did all of these valance lighting, the rope lighting with the LEDs, going through the ceiling with all the very nice but modern molding. So we don't have anything too intricate in here to make it more of a transitional, traditional design. Everything is very modern or contemporary looking. Clean and elegant. Another great feature to this dining room is this wine display here. Typically a lot of the homes that we style would have had uh, just, you know, drywall here, but the builder here took it to another level and added this wine display and it adds a lot of interest to the space. I think it's very cool and something to keep in mind if you have a big wall in your dining room and space to work with. I'm going to try to give you as much of a feel as I can walking through the space here because this house is so big. So we just went through living room and dining room and now we're back in the front of the house going into the office area. Let's go have a look because they've done a lot in here. You can really tell the builder stepped it up a notch, right? And all of the design details. I mean, check out this wallpaper. This might have been something that most people would have been scared to use, but it worked out absolutely perfect with the combination of the wall unit design and all of the other details. And something I am going to point out to you guys is the fact that the floors are all light throughout the house, which really gives you flexibility when you want to work with different colors and textures and patterns. So definitely 
definitely keep that in mind as well. When you're dealing with a luxury office like this, you better have the right furniture for it too. And we have the perfect pieces for this space. Something that we did that was really cool is we collaborated with Modern Sands Furniture and they supplied the desk for this office space, which I think was the perfect addition because it's not too big, it's not too bulky, it fits perfectly size-wise with the room, but as well the design because I could not have picked a better desk than this. It's really clean looking, contemporary, and it doesn't overpower the space. So a perfect pick for a perfect office. Are you ready to talk about all of this and everything that's happening in this section of the house? So this here leads to your upstairs and your downstairs. I always say a staircase is such an important element of a house. And I was not kidding because if you had a very boring space here, then what would it be? There would be absolutely no interest. But the builder, he took it to another level with all of the panelings, this beautiful skylight above me that was designed to perfection. And I love how they just used a subtle glass railing not to create too much complication and too much intricate designs, which would make this space feel a little bit more busy. But I am also gonna add this wall design to my talk because I find it to be perfection. It's such a wow factor and this is actually leading you in the front foyer from the front of the room all the way to the back here to the heart of the house. This was a perfect wall to create something like this. I love how they have the LED lights behind it. Love the fluting and the contrast between the black and the natural wood panels. Absolute perfection. Talk about creating drama in your family room. You know when you get goosebumps when you get excited about something and you can't wait to open that gift or get that piece of whatever that you just bought? I got that feeling when I walked into the consultation and I saw this room. Guys, it's a dream come true and for so many different reasons that I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, okay. First things first, this beautiful wall unit. I absolutely love it. It's all black, it's dramatic, it's moody. People might be scared of it, but hello? Check out how you could actually style something like this. Go with light furniture. Go with something neutral. Don't be afraid of using black because it's just that elegant and it just really amplifies your space that much. And the second wow factor about this room is, yes, hello, the view and this whole wall that opens up into this beautiful backyard area. Check this out. And yeah, you're just sitting there looking at this, feeling like you're in a resort. That is a definite bonus and a great selling feature. Another great feature about this room is the ceiling design. And I really love the division between the rooms. So you have this one side that they've created for the family room. And then it's really fantastic because you have this almost like a strip to continue this hallway area as a separation. And then you have another side for the kitchen, which I'm not gonna reveal yet because we're not there yet but you can see the ceiling. <laughs> when your house is this big and one island is just not enough, well, what do you do? You gotta add the second island, guys. And this worked out so beautifully. I love the attention to detail here because each one is not, you know, a five by 10, which is the average size, well, maximum size you can get for a stone. What they did was they separated the two created not only more cabinet space and storage space underneath, but also working space. And the fun part is the fact that you can walk through the island, do a little bit of this, do a little bit of this, and you're good to go. I know this kitchen has a lot of beautiful features, but this right here was my absolute favorite. One of those personal things that I've always felt, you know, I'd love there to be a big window in my kitchen well here you go hello it takes up a whole wall and it creates so much light and so much 
I don't know, just this airy feeling in here, even though you have so much cabinets going from floor to ceiling in here, you don't feel like you're suffocating and it's closed up. It's open, it's airy, it's absolute perfection. And the absolute masterpiece of this kitchen is this wall right here. Absolutely love the finishes, the cabinet colors, the brass details, all of the fluting details on the cabinets here creates so much interest and a lot of luxury. If you want to come out of that boring look with your kitchen, create some excitement, create some interest. Yes, it's always done that way. And they've continued that same design in the hood right here. And yes, guys, luxury, luxury all the way around. Okay, so this is not a trick of the eye. This leads to the other wing of the house, okay? But before we go there, I'm gonna take you into the powder room because it's definitely noteworthy. Let's go have a look. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I'm in a hotel when I'm standing in this powder room. It is so done up that it just screams luxury. First of all, there's absolutely no drywall. You have stone wrapped walls and you have wallpaper and then you have the vanity wall, which all of it together is so luxurious and so beautiful. It's moody, but it's still light feeling because you have this really tall ceiling height, which really helps a lot. This wall behind me, I love this detail that they did. So obviously he could have just finished this wall up with the stone, but no, he decided to add even more details and create this look with the integrated lights. So it kind of gives you this really nice modern look. It actually amplifies your ceiling height, right? This client did what I would do and used a full wall to create this vanity design. And I love the fixtures that he used, the mix with the marble and the brass. It goes with the wall design, it goes with your light fixtures and the mirror. This is a 10 out of 10 powder room, I would definitely say. And what luxury home is complete without its own private elevator? Guys, let's take it up to the second floor. I want to show you the primary bedroom. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't do it. <laughs> And now we are on the second floor and there is so much to see here. This house is like a maze. I remember when we were styling this project, I, I felt like I didn't know where I was going when I wanted to get to a certain point. So let's give it a try now. Before we go into the primary bedroom, I want to introduce to you this hallway upstairs and it's so elaborate. You have this great ceiling height here with this beautiful skylight design. But then something else the client did that was very interesting was he created this absolute perfect masterpiece on this wall. So it's like a creation of art. It's actually a mural that they had custom made for here. But I feel like the colors, the design, everything just really amplifies this space and just makes it look that much nicer. It's a great idea. And ta-da, we have the primary bedroom. So the bedroom starts off with a little entry area that has a nice closet space just for storage and linen and, and that sort of thing. Then these double doors lead you into the actual bedroom, which is really oversized because we have a king bed on this size, oversized nightstands, and we still had room to create a nice sitting area here. So some of the features I wanna discuss with you about this room that really are breathtaking is first of all, the ceiling height absolute perfection and also this feature wall that the client created with mixing up the mirrors and the wallpaper and adding the pendants here was the perfect finishing 
to this future wall and we kept it light we kept it airy but we did create a little drama of our own styling this room since everything was so neutral we felt it was the perfect time to create a little drama with our art pieces so we have this one here but we also brought in a little bit of color with our sitting area the ottoman the little decorative pillows again you don't want your space to be too neutral where it's just kind of boring you want to create interest by adding a little bit of color in some areas of the house Welcome to the primary ensuite. This is the perfect scenario because the colors of the house downstairs have been carried upstairs. You have a lot of the neutrals, but then you have a lot of the black contrast coming through. I love the vanity. Again, guys, you saw this look downstairs in the kitchen cabinetry and they carried it through here. You have the brass details. And I, I, I think that you guys should be getting the sense of this now what materials you're using throughout the house, try to carry them throughout the rest of the house. It doesn't all have to be matchy matchy, but just so that there's harmony within the house. You don't want to go into every room and it's all just different, different, different. Yes, you can have special features, but the main design aesthetic should be uniformed throughout the whole house. It's just nicer that way, especially if you're thinking about selling your house, you want to keep it neutral. And speaking about that, neutral, and selling and luxury this bathroom right here it's perfect i want to show you guys the shower area we have the perfect curbless shower here guys this is what i have been talking about in my other videos as well where you do not have the step into the shower it's all just seamless all of the walls are wrapped in stone and you have a lot of the brass details a gorgeous bench which is so useful in a large bathroom setting like this when you have a house that has five bedrooms eight and a half bathrooms and you're thinking where do they fit all of this well i'm going to show you because i'm going to take you to the other side of the house it's called the other wing or as we were calling it the loft I have never been to a house and done a tour where it's like a one house situated into another house. And this is the other house because it's quite large. I would say it's about 1500 square feet here between the main floor and upstairs. So we're standing in the living room here, which as you can see, it has double height ceiling and the feeling in here is a little bit more modern than the rest of the house. So this is our future wall here where we have the fireplace and what they did was they have this open concept here between the living room and the dining room. So when we were styling it, we just felt that it was so fitting to do a nice sectional here and a very contemporary but very chic design. Now come on down, I want to show you the rest of this space. So open concept, living room and dining room here. And you'll notice, yes, this area was not forgotten because he did his same beautiful design as downstairs with the wallpaper. And you have this picture framed wall with the integrated LED lights. You don't even need artwork here. It looks good on its own, but if you want to add something, be my guest. And now we're going to step into the kitchen area here. And again, very different than downstairs, but still keeping up with the same tones and colors because you have the nice grays, you have the natural elements in the cabinetry, you have the black matte finishes in the hardware, and you have a complete kitchen here. And voila, this is the upstairs bedroom and our final fifth bedroom of the house. Very spacious, I would say. So we did a nice bed area here in a queen, but we also created a really cool desk area on this side. Yes, you have that much space. This unit right here is larger than most condos in the city. I do want to add that point. Thank you for joining us on this home tour. I hope you enjoyed this luxury home that we had to show you today. I'm finishing things off by the pool right here. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you check us out on Instagram at Salwasanas. See you next time.